Let's balance the equation for CrOH3 plus HClO4. And this is chromium-3 hydroxide, and then we have this perchloric acid here. So this is a neutralization reaction. We have a base, we have this hydroxide bonded to a metal, and then we have an acid here. So neutralization would be the type of reaction. Let's count the atoms up. We'll use a bit of a trick to make it easier. So we have one chromium here, and then three, that goes to everything here. So three times one, that's three, three times one, three. And we have this hydrogen over here, that gives us four. You notice I didn't count these here, the oxygens here. That's because we're going to treat the perchlorate ion as just one thing, a separate thing, because it doesn't change. We have it here and we have it here. So I have one perchlorate ion here. Over here, I have three perchlorate ions. That makes it a lot easier as we're balancing. It's the same answer, just quicker, and time does matter on exams. So on the product side, we have the one chromium. We said we have three times one, three perchlorate ions. We have one oxygen here and two hydrogens. So we've counted everything up. We've used our little trick here with the perchlorate. Let's balance the equation. I like to leave oxygens and hydrogens until last. I think I'm just going to balance the ClO4. I put a three here, three times the one. That'll give me three of those. They're balanced. And then let's update the hydrogens. So we have three times one, that's three, plus this one here times a three, three there, six. That's kind of nice because this is an even number. If I put a three in front of the water, two times three, that's six, that's balanced. And then the one times three, that gives me three. That's it, we're done. This equation is balanced. So it's very useful to think of these polyatomic ions. If you have them on both sides, it's just one item. It makes it a lot quicker. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CrOH3 plus HClO4, chromium-3 hydroxide plus perchloric acid. Thanks for watching.